Hey guys, and welcome back to my Lilac Hill. I actually just got back from church, and I think it is the perfect time to get some stuff planted in the garden. So I'm going to head inside and get changed, and then we'll come back out and get a few things planted on this Easter afternoon. Okay, so I have gotten changed out of my church clothes. I ate something for lunch really quick, and I've got my water jug. We are going to go ahead and head outside and see if we can get uh, quite a bit done. I have really big <laughs> uh, expectations, I guess, for today, but we'll see if it's realistic or not. So let's head out to the garden and get to work. So the first thing that I want to work on today is getting my potatoes planted. And I am doing Ruth Stout method with them this year. So that means I need straw or hay or something like that. So what I've decided to go with is straw. And I'm going to take this straw and move it over there on the other side of the house where I plan on having my potatoes and get it all fluffed up and ready to plant. And then I'll bring you back to show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've laid my potatoes out. The ones that are furthest away from the garden are my Yukon Golds. Then we head over to my red Pontiacs. And then down at the end is my Norcut Russet Potato. And again, it is the one that's closest to the garden. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to cover this with a really generous layer of straw. And as these potatoes start to grow up, I will keep adding straw like you would if you were hilling potatoes in the dirt. Okay, so I know I told you I would bring you along and show you as I'm planting. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to try and dim the noise of the wind. But it's pretty windy and I still have not invested in a sturdy uh, tripod. So I'm just going to kind of show you as I go and as I have time. But I have planted radish, direct sown. And then I had four Brussels sprout starts that I purchased that have also gotten in. So I'm going to show you that real quick and then we're going to move on to onions. So under this trellis, which will house cucumbers at some point, went ahead and started about uh, close to 100 radish. They are the Crimson Giant radish. And then eventually I plan to double this once I get another cattle panel. I have two T-posts that I can use, um, but I need maybe two more T-posts. Maybe I can use these two and tie onto those, but I want to extend it once more this way. But I also am going to have to till up a little bit more because I plan on extending the garden this way. So that'll have to wait, but I did get the radish in there. And then over here are four jade Brussels sprout. I don't even know. I can't see because it's so bright out here. Hopefully you guys can see those. But um, I purchased these and I've never grown Brussels sprouts. And from what I've researched, I think they'd probably do better in the fall. But they were cheap and I'm gonna try them, so we'll see. And this year, instead of the landscape fabric like I used last year, I'm using straw to try and prevent weeds from just taking over. So I don't have anything positive or negative to say about that, I've never tried it. But as the season progresses, I'll let you know. But that's why you see everything covered in straw. Okay, so over there is where I said the Brussels sprouts were. We're gonna come directly across and that is where I put my bulbing onions. And then on this part here, closer to where I'm standing, is where I have my spring onions. And right here behind the Brussels sprouts, which you can kind of see now, there's one, two, three, and four. But right here behind those Brussels sprouts, I went ahead and planted some leek. There's about 20 leek plants in there and covered them with straw. Okay, so I'm editing this video for you guys and realized that when I filmed this video a few days ago, I never did a sign off. So I'm just going to show you the last little bits of footage that I gathered and then just thank you so much for watching. Our next video to come out will be a garden tour of some other things that I have planted. And of course, you'll just get to continue seeing me planting throughout the season. So I hope you'll follow along and I will see you guys in the next video.